Imagine a world in which data drives all decisions, from what you watch online to how businesses forecast the future. Welcome to the era of data science. In this video, we will look at why data science, what is data science, what do data scientists do, how do you become a data scientist. So whether you are a beginner curious about data or aspiring to be a data scientist, stick around because we will break it down in the simplest way possible. So let's get started. But before we begin, make sure to like, share and subscribe. Do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from the Edureka's YouTube channel. Edureka's data science course created by experts provides hands-on training in machine learning, Python data analysis and data-driven decision making. Learn how to build advanced solutions and begin your journey to becoming a globally recognized data scientist. Check out the course link in the description box below. The demand for data science professionals is skyrocketing with reports predicting 11.5 million new data science jobs globally by 2026. In India, the data science education market is expected to grow by 58% to $1.4 billion by 2028, reflecting the increasing demand for skilled professionals. As AI and data-driven decision-making become essential for businesses, hiring in AI and data science roles is set to dominate the job market by 2025, especially in Tier 2 cities. And Glassdoor reports that entry-level data scientists in India earn 9 lakh rupees per year, while senior data scientists earn up to 23 lakh rupees per year and lead data scientists earn up to 44 lakh rupees per year. And in the United States, the starting salary for a data scientist is $79,000 per year, while a senior data scientist can earn up to $125,674 per year and a lead data scientist can earn up to $198,398 per year. With competitive salaries and a rapid career growth, now is the ideal time to upskill and enter the thriving field of data science. But why data science? Before beginning the data science roadmap, it's important to establish a clear learning goal. Data science is one of the fastest growing fields with an estimated 11.5 billion jobs worldwide by 2026. It pays well with professionals earning 20% to 30% more than those in other industries. As artificial intelligence and analytics continue to transform businesses, data science remains a promising field with limitless opportunities. Data-driven solutions are transforming industries ranging from healthcare to finance, making this an exciting and impactful field in which to work. Now, what is data science? Data science uses scientific methods, algorithms, and systems to extract insights from structured and unstructured data. It combines statistics, machine learning, and visualizations to uncover patterns and trends. Essential for decision-making and innovation, data science drives data-driven strategies across industries. Now, let us understand what do data scientists do. A data scientist collects and analyzes complex data to inform business decisions. They collect, clean, and analyze data before developing machine learning models and deploying them in the real world. Data scientists also monitor and maintain models, communicate findings to non-technical stakeholders, and work across teams to achieve organizational goals. But how to become a data scientist? So here's a roadmap to guide you. Mastering key skills is essential for becoming a successful data scientist. So let's explore each one in detail. First, you can get started with Python. Python is the most popular programming language in data science due to its ease of use, versatility, and extensive ecosystems of libraries. Beginners can learn the fundamentals in about a month or two, making it a viable entry point into the field. Next, start with R. R is a popular programming language for statistical analysis and data visualization. While Python is more versatile, R is better at statistical modeling, hypothesis testing, and creating high-quality plots using packages. It is widely used in academic research and industries that demand extensive statistical analysis such as finance and healthcare. Then move to Git, a version control system that enables data scientists to track changes, collaborate effectively, and manage code across multiple projects. It allows you to work on different versions of your code without losing progress and make it simple to return to previous state if something goes wrong. You can spend around two weeks studying Git. Now, let us look at the essential Git concepts for data science. First is the repository. You can save data science projects including scripts, datasets, and documentation. Next, commits and version control, where you can keep track of changes to facilitate model debugging and refinement. Next, branches and collaboration. 
work on different features or experiments without affecting the overall project. Followed by GitHub or GitLab integration. Share your projects, work with teams and follow a structured workflow. Moving on to data structures and algorithms. So understanding data structures and algorithms is crucial for improving problem solving skills which is essential for tackling complex challenges in data science. Mastering these concepts helps optimize data processing, make models more efficient and handle large data sets effectively. Tech giants like Google, Amazon and Facebook frequently test candidates on DSA during job interviews, making it a key skill for landing top data science roles. Spending one or two months learning fundamental structures like arrays, linked list, trees, graphs and algorithms like sorting, searching and dynamic programming will greatly enhance your ability to write efficient code and build scalable solutions. Next, moving on to structured query language. SQL is an essential skill for data scientists because it enables efficient interaction with databases. It is useful for accessing, organizing and analyzing structured data stored in relational databases such as MySQL, PostgreSQL and SQL Server. As a data scientist, you will frequently work with large datasets, which require SQL to extract meaningful insights, join multiple tables, filter records, and optimize queries for performance. SQL is relatively simple and you can master it in a month or two. Mastering joins, subqueries, window functions, and indexing will significantly improve your ability to work with real world data. Next is mathematics and statistics. Data science requires a solid foundation in mathematics and statistics, which serve as the foundation for data analysis and machine learning. To understand how models work and correctly interpret data, focus on key areas such as linear algebra, calculus, probability, and statistics. Linear algebra is essential for working with datasets, transformations, and machine learning algorithms. Next, calculus is useful for understanding the optimization techniques used in training models. Probability and statistics are critical for making data-driven decision, hypothesis testing, and predicting modeling. Mastering these topics over two or three months will significantly improve your ability to analyze data, build models, and draw meaningful conclusions. And next, what you need to learn is data handling and visualization. Data handling and visualization are critical skills in data science, enabling you to clean, process, and present data effectively. You will need to master Python libraries like Pandas and NumPy for data manipulation, handling missing values and transforming raw data into structured format. And once the data is prepared, visualization helps uncover patterns and insights. Matplotlib and Seaborn are essential for creating detailed graphs, while tools like Power BI and Tableau can enhance reporting with interactive dashboards. If you already know Python and SQL, you can develop strong data pre-processing and visualization skills within a month or two. Next, machine learning. Machine learning is an essential component of data science. It allows systems to learn from data and make predictions. There are two types of machine learning, unsupervised and supervised. Supervised learning are the models learned from label data with each input having a known output, whereas unsupervised learnings are the models use unlabeled data to identify patterns. And to implement these algorithms, you will need to be familiar with tools such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Scikit-Learn. To establish a solid foundation in machine learning, spend three to four months learning key concepts and training models and optimizing their performance. Next is deep learning. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that utilizes neural networks with multiple layers to solve complex tasks like image recognition, speech processing, and natural language understanding. Key architectures include convolutional neural networks for image processing and recurrent neural networks for sequential data, such as speech or text. Next, mastering tools like TensorFlow and PyTorch is essential for building deep learning models. And to strengthen your expertise in deep learning, spend two to three months understanding neural networks, fine-tuning models, and experimenting with different architectures. And to become a data scientist, you also need to learn big data. Big Data focuses on effectively storing, processing, and analyzing large data sets that traditional methods cannot handle. Hadoop and Apache Spark enables distributed computing and real-time processing, which aids in the management of large amounts of data. And spending two to three months mastering these tools will enable you to work with large amounts of data at high speeds, revealing deeper insights that smaller data sets would not allow. Understanding big data is critical for scaling data science solutions in sectors such as finance, healthcare, and e-commerce. 
Mastering these skills and following this path will help you land a high paying job in the field of data science. So we have explored the essential skills for data science career including programming, statistics, machine learning and big data. While the journey takes time, consistent practice and dedication will help you succeed. So the demand for data scientists is increasing and businesses are constantly seeking qualified candidates. So maintain consistency and focus on real world projects. And with this, we have come to an end with this video on data science roadmap. If you enjoyed it, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. And do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.